I have something I want to share with you. I first heard the figures in the sixth grade at Lindbergh Elementary School, and the teacher told us the face of the earth is 90% covered by water. She had more news for us, that we were made up of water for the most part. Now here I am in my 40s, living in Oak Park, just outside of Chicago, about a half a mile from where Ernest Hemingway was born. Water is more precious than ever. It's the commodity of the 21st century. I think about that every morning when I turn on the tap. And I think if what if one morning when you turned on the tap, nothing came out, nothing came out, and it never would again. The man who could turn it on again could ask a lot of money, a lot of money to do it. That's what I heard in the sixth grade. Locks fitted with an individual key, solid titanium. 20 bucks says you don't get out of these. Bring it on, brother. Uh, you want some of this action? The first key to victory is know the enemy. Yeah. The unknown will defeat the warrior. <laughs> I guess that means no, huh? The winning streak has come to an end. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one. Yes! Detective Chase. OK. All right, I'll get back to you. Yep. Right. But more Houdini shit, Chase? I warned you about this. You just bite you and your partner this. PTA meetings and garage sales. Man, what do you gotta smoke that shit for? Questions, always questions. Why, why, why? Why are the things instead of nothing? Why are we here? If we sit perfectly still, will the answers come? It's all a puzzle to me, Plato. David, tell me how you got out of those cuffs. If I tell you, you promise not to tell anyone. Sure. Magic. <laughs> I don't believe this. Look, they're not going to cause any trouble. Perhaps they've heard of your incredible law enforcement reputation. 
perhaps. No, the numbers don't match up. Give me the other one, please. Detective Chase. Detective Oda. This is Chase. Right. Uh, Ed Williams, plant manager. Uh, why don't I give you the tour? The strikers outside didn't seem like a particularly bloodthirsty lot. No, no, they're fine, usually. Unless we bring in a contract employee, and we're bringing one in today for a tour. How long's the strike been going on for? Almost a year. And normally there isn't any trouble. But the last time we brought in a contract worker was a caterer from Melissa's party. They pushed him around, they took all the cream puffs, and they put a footprint in her cake. Flogging is too good for them. You're right. Okay, well, maybe one of us should stay outside by the gate, make sure the tour group gets in all right, and the other one can fall around inside. I'll take the front gate. No, I'll take the front gate. It's my turn for the cream puff assignment. What exactly goes on here, Mr. Williams? Oh, this is where we purify the drinking water. Those filters remove toxins, bacteria, and other contaminants. Surge tanks ready. Begin backflow for tanks, three to six. Backflow commencing. Hi. Mr. Wilkins, Detectives Oda, Chase. Ms. Wilkins is our filtration supervisor. Police Ed? They're just here to ensure peace during this afternoon's tour. And what time does the tour start? At two, in uh, 35 minutes. But people will start arriving shortly, so one of you should meet them at the gate. Detective Chase. Yeah, I'll take care of things in here, Pete. You can handle yourself out there, can you? Great. Thanks. Anytime, partner. Coming, Detective Chase? It's quite a process. These people take water for granted. Sad fate for the giver of life. Detective, if you're gonna be on the lower levels, you're gonna need to wear a safety hat. I'll just poke around up here. Well, Melissa can get it for you if you want. Maybe on second thought, I better check out the lower levels. Yeah. Someone once said, all thoughts begin or end upon this sound. The idle foam of water falling, changeless they call it. It's very pretty. The Japanese say, water tells the tale as it goes. I like it. Who said that? His name was Busson. I think he drowned. Delivery from Ralston Security. Just went outside. It's a break. Thank you. Jesus, you scared me. Sorry. The boss said you'd give me a safety hat. Okay, I'll be right back. Do you want to know what color I want? Should match my eyes, don't you think? Yeah. Is that your husband? No, it's my ex-husband. How about you, Detective Chase? You married? You can call me David. Okay, David, you got a little cop wife at home? Yeah, I keep her in a jar with my cop kids and my cop dog and my cop cat. Sorry, being a, being a jerk, sorry. It's all right. Let's go get your hat.
Hi, we're here for the tour. Straight in, please, sir. Parking straight in. I'll open the gate. Parking on the left, please. Thank you very much. Boy, we've got a large bunch today. I'd ask all of you not to touch any of the machinery. How many people, when boiling water for coffee, washing their hands, or brushing their teeth, think about it? Water has to be pure. Water from the lake contains bacteria and microbes. It is here at the Harold Adams Filtration Plant that we remove these potentially life-threatening elements. So, let's get started. filtration plant, which covers 22 acres, supplies clean water for nearly 14 million people. Every hour, 140 million cubic gallons of water pour through the turbines. State-of-the-art automation allows for only a skeleton crew at all times. Let's take a look at the filtration tanks where the process begins. So how long were you married? Two years. Well, that's 23 months longer than mine lasted. Such a disaster. Why do you still wear that locket? Good question. Um, because it's the only romantic thing he ever did. And this is the water filtration room. Now, the reason it smells like your local swimming pool is because chlorine is an integral part of the filtration process. Now, the first stage of the filtration process takes place in here. Water is pumped in from the lake. Excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt, uh, miss. Um, I'm riveted. I don't know about anyone else, but uh, I have a question. Actually, it's more of a request. Yes? Would everyone please put their hands on top of their heads? This is a gun. That's a very big gun. While you still have heads to put your hands on, put your hands on your heads. Thank you. Control room, now. Control room, now. Pogo, go get the rest of the workers and put them in the chemical storage unit and tell them that their life is greatly enhanced if they listen to you for the next four hours. Well, hello. What's your name? Sweetie, what's your name? Sarah. Oh, hello, Sarah. How old are you? Eleven. Please. You're frightening her. Eleven was a bad year for me. Is anyone here familiar with the Gospel of St. Luke? Put your hands up! Get closer! No? Well, see, that's where Christ says that you have to be a child before you get into heaven. And I was Sarah's age when I heard that. When I heard that, I became an atheist that day. And do you know, I have never looked back. I have never looked back. So, everyone listens to me, or we're going to find out who's going to heaven. Get closer. Closer. Good. Good. Hey, who are you guys? Hey! Sit down. Sit. Good dog. Control room is now secure. What the hell's going on? What local are you in? Listen to me. You say one more word and you're gonna find your tongue in your pocket, all right? Christ, what an asshole. So, what did the uh, former Mrs. Chase see in you? I make a killer Brie omelet. <laughs> a Brie omelet does not a successful marriage make. Well, you've never tasted my Brie omelet. I rounded all the workers up. They're in one of the chemical storage units. And they listened to everything you said? Oh, yeah. Good. Get the cuffs. Um, who here has cellular phones? Cellular phones. Cellular phones. I shoot everyone who is hiding a phone. Pogo, cuff him. Got it. You heard him? Turn around, move! To the, ra to the railing! What are you looking at? Turn around. Give me your wrist. And the new final piece of the puzzle. Turner, are you there? In mind, body, and spirit. Sammy, front entrance now. Pogo, how are our reluctant guests? They're sitting tight. Do not be afraid to make an executive decision if need be. You know how I hate loudmouth guests.
Anything secure? Oh, yeah. Paging the banjo Sparky comedy team. Come in. Roger that. We're at the loading dock. Come on in, kids. Happy days. Rake to blow. Oh, my God. We started wiring the doors, Montessi. You ready? Huh. Keys, please. Keys, please. Please don't do this. If you do this, you're gonna poison the drinking water. Go. Warning system shut down. Turbines one, three, four, six. They're closing the turbines. We gotta get in there. Well, they're stopping the flow of fresh water into the turbines. We've got four hours into bacteria. It goes right into the water supply. Hey, where are you going? Turbines five through eight now offline. What is it? Sounds like the turbines are going down, but that can't be. Open it. Five five three four eight four. No one answering. I think we should try it. They couldn't have rigged it already. It's pretty far from where they went in. Well, if they did rig it, we're going to end up a lot further from where they went in. Over here. We got a problem. All right. Go back to the security hut and tell my partner what's going on. Forget it. I'm going with you. Not a good idea. Hey, it's a maze down there. You'd be lost without me.
this rig is incredible. You see those numbers? They're frequencies. The others have to have the same settings. It's, it's like a daisy chain. You cut one and they all go. How do you know that? I'm in on it. I'm part of the plan. I'm an engineer, so is my dad, my brothers. I know a little about electricity and frequency modulation. Enough to diffuse it? This thing does not get diffused. It either blows or the person with the controls shuts it off. I can't work like this, Wally. Get rid of the corpse. Okay, the tunnels are just about empty. We're at stage two. Turner? <laughs> I anxiously await our next step with breathless anticipation. Yes. Bye, everybody. I'm leaving now. Got the rest of the day off. Yes, sirree, you won't see me no more. New boss is a great guy. He says I can have the rest of the week off. <laughs> it's such a drag. <laughs> What would that be? Whatever you say. Right! You're a smart man, smarty pants. You just might live through this yet. I dumped them. Good. Soon. I'll be right back. Come here, Molly. a lot more fun than a boring old tour, huh? You, sir. Where are you from? Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. That's cheese country, Bogo. So when you go back home and you're curdling all this milk, that fine cheese, what would you rather be telling your friends? about this exciting hostage taking or just a dull old tour? Please, I have a heart condition. Count your blessings. <gasps> it could be lead poisoning. Sparky, Wally, where are you? Sparky, can you hear me? Would you come in, please? Sparky. Almost there. Hustle it up. We're on time, but just barely. I've been to Wisconsin twice. Stayed at a Motel 6 on 5th and 8th. Had a terrific time. Right there. Come on, come on, Sparky, hustle it up. This is going to take forever. Damn it. 
sir. Oh. What the hell are they doing? Where's the phone? Workstations are this way. Right enough? Liquid halogen. I'm gonna put these up every 30 odd yards. Back in an hour. Montessi. Yeah. Sparky is en route. Turner, we're on the way. Shut up and listen to me. You're taking forever. Remind your people that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Mr. Turner, thank you for the geometry lesson. Montesi out. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on. Make it roll, make it roll, make it roll. As you may have noticed, uh, there's been a little bit of a commotion in the tour as of late, and, well, I want to just give you all an update. Uh, this right here is a bomb. See that? Everyone look. That is a bomb. We've got about 12 of them spread out around this bar this complex. This right here is a detonator. Now, this, like me, is a very complicated piece of machinery. Now, this detonator is connected to all the bombs, so if I were to squeeze this together, well, then all the bombs are going to go off. And you and me and Pogo, well, our next tour guide will be St. Peter. Now, if anyone tries to come in from the outside, kaboom. If any loose hero boy here tries to break out, kaboom. 
And if I fall over and this were to go together, you know, I think a prayer for me is in order. Uh, would everyone here just please bow their heads? Bow your fucking heads, you heathens! Excuse the language, sir. Oh, God. Please keep safe and well our fearless and mad bomber so that we may continue our wretched lives tomorrow. Amen. 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 Louder! Amen. Peace be with you, my children. the striker, sir. They don't seem to know anything. I believe it. Yeah. Could be some subversives trying to make a splash for themselves. Or something we're missing. This way, David. It's a 1-800 line for other long distance that we get if I can just get these. Get it out, son. I need to now. No excuse. Pete, Dave, we got a little problem in here, buddy. So it seems. What the hell's going on in there? Someone's taking over the plant. They rigged all the doors with bombs. What are the numbers? I don't know. I don't know. I've taken one out, but there are others, and they've got hostages. We've got the bomb squad here. Any idea what's the best way in? No, no, no. Hold on. The doors are rigged that if one goes, they all go. These guys are even rigging the manhole covers. David. Now, now. Is there any way you can block the tunnels leading out of the plant? Hold on. How do we block the tunnels leading out of here? The control room. The control room. Wally, Sparky's going to be at the target in 10 minutes. Right. What the hell? Someone's using one of the phones on the floor. I thought you killed all the lines. I did. Come on, come on. OK, fuck. Come on, come on. How come I can't get in here? All right, little man. What's going on? I don't know. What? I don't know. You don't know? No. Well, I'll tell you what. You're going to figure it out. No. Uh. What's going on? Wally, step back. I count to three. One, two. Try the 1 800 line. That's it. Are the hostages all right? We found a dead technician. They've got the hostages secured in the filter room. They're rigged with bombs. Who the fuck is that? David, stand by. I'm waiting for instructions from headquarters. OK, OK, OK. OK, we got a guy. He's on level two at the far end of the plant. That's our bogey. And he smells of cop. Get him, find him, kill him. It's done. What is a cop doing here? I thought there weren't supposed to be any. Got a comment? Oh, whoa. I can't get Banjo on the two-way. A cop! What the fuck? Hi. How are you? Let's talk. David, what's happening?
Hello? Is anybody there? Ota here. Who's this? It's Johnson. I'm a technician. They, they missed me. I heard somebody talking, but they ran away. Relax. Help is on the way. Who is this? I'm a cop. Just find a hiding place and sit tight. Yes, sir. Montessi, come in. Go ahead. Put on your thinking cap. We've got problems. It would appear the perfect crime is now just a pretty good crime. Sammy, get the uh, phone tapping equipment out, would you? Now, I want you to tell them who you are, and I want you to tell them that I will kill a hostage if they try and record our communications. This is Ed Williams. I'm the plant manager. Look, they want me to tell you that they'll kill somebody every time you try and record one of their phone conversations. I want you to tell them that every entrance is rigged, and they better not try and come in. Go. Don't try and come in. All the doors are rigged. They, they want to know if everybody's OK. Well, the person I shot's feeling a tad under the weather, thanks to you. Tell them that. Give me the phone. They've already killed one man. I have to go. Tell me again about this cop. Look, it's just like I said. He's a cop. He's here to look after the strikers in case they get out of line. Which is who I thought you guys were. Until... But you know what? I was wrong. At least the strikers are human. I do this on behalf of oppressed workers everywhere. In every line of work, as far as I'm concerned, management sucks. And also, they talk far too much because you never know when to shut up. Smarty pants. Warning, three hours, 15 minutes until contamination. Montessi, found Banjo. And? He's toast. Find them, kill them, now! Escape route. Where do these go? There's tunnels that run along the lake shore. They they go under the city for miles. They even go out to the lake. What could he be up to? I gotta get that detonator from that wacko. That's the Oregon bond issue. Now the biggie, the federal T-bill issue. That's gonna cut into my lunch. I should have brought a sandwich or something. I like your work ethic. You're a good soldier.
recording. Yes. This is Lieutenant Rogers. Who is this? My name is of no consequence, but what is of consequence is I have over 20 hostages. You will not try and contact me for at least 30 minutes, because if you do so, I won't have any hostages left, just little bits of them. You didn't want to have to deal with these people for at least an hour. Yeah, well, whoever's on the floor took care of that. Sparky, where are you, Sparky? Come in. Sparky! I'm at the front door. Okay, there's been a little change of plan. We're running a little behind. Once you're safely inside, you will come back here immediately. Pogo will go load the product over. Union's got great life insurance coverage. Whatever. Whatever. Get over here. Come here, Sparky. Look at the screen. Okay. These are legitimate bond numbers, and I paid a pretty penny for them. Right now, I'm making them absolutely worthless. And in their place will be 32 bundles and $64 million. The only thing I regret is that I won't be there when some young boy comes into the bank to cash a bond his grandmother gave him for Christmas. The bank will tell him it's invalid. But I'm letting him know what the real world's all about. And for that, he'll thank me later. <laughs> I gotta go. Pogo will be here soon. Fucking maze down there. No big hairy deal. They can't touch us now. I'm gonna go cover for Pogo until Sparky gets back. Okay. The elevator's right here. It goes right up to the control room. It goes right to the control room? Yeah. Well, if we're looking for convenience, why don't we just call the bad guys and ask them to get us a cab? You don't have to be rude. You could be more specific. When someone says to me, is there a way up there, I don't automatically assume they want to go under the floor. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was a little sarcastic. But they're going to know in the control room if the elevator moves, right? Right? Right. OK. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on the roof of the elevator and ride it up. David, you're setting your sights way too low. Why don't you just fly up? You're going to get yourself killed, David. Not before you 
taste my brie omelet. Will you give me a hand? I'm Lieutenant Wilson. What's the situation here? Uh, hostile persons, number unknown, have seized control of the plant. We've rigged all the entrances to blow. Apparently the rigging's very sophisticated. We have one fatality confirmed. Strikers? I don't think so. They've killed somebody. We have a blueprint of the place, and the important thing is that we've already seen the blueprint. We've got a way in. How? Is one of the pipes? The pipes? Yeah, there's one that's three feet in diameter. It comes out the runoff room. There's a manhole just off the plant perimeter. We can go in there. All right, you've got your shot. But when things go wrong, we start doing it my way. How do we make the computer think that the bonds are being destroyed in the acid bath? Let me ask you something. Can you remember what your cut is in all of this? 20 million. Same as yours. We'll just spend a couple of hundred of that 20 million dollars on some computer science lessons. Face it, Bogo. You're as smart as a box of rocks, and that's it. You don't have to be a prick. I'm just asking a question. <sighs> Son, don't worry about how it all works. Just have blind faith in me. I won't let you down. Get back to work and shut the fuck up. Thank you. Okay, see, we're nearly finished. Roger, but we're just barely on time. Where the hell is Sparky, anyway? We are right on track. There you are. We're just barely on track. Where are we putting the hostages? We could just shoot them all. I don't like it. You like what? I think we should stick to the plan. You do? Yes. What I plan? Do. The plan we Sparky. have. Sparky. Sparky. Listen. Sparky. You're not paid to think. I'm paid to think. You shoot. I like you when you shoot. You like me when I think. Train your gun on these people. Don't let them move. Warning. Two hours and 45 minutes until contamination. What are you looking at? Eagle, this is Ranger. You're inside. Take about five minutes to reach your runoff room. Over. No sign of suspects or hostages. Over. Sparky, do you know if Louise Jefferson died in the final episode of The Jeffersons? Yeah, she did. You're thinking of good times. John Amos, who played the father, dies of a heart attack in the final episode of that. Nah, no, nah, you're wrong. I never watched that show. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Like I gotta watch Ghetto Life as written by two suburban white guys? Hey, come on. You, you, you got all the stereotypes. An elephantine wife, two sons, one a half wit, the other an angry young black. The dad. And the Jeffersons the... is social commentary? It presented a more accurate picture of black life an average successful African-American family. Average? Yeah, average. Why not? Look at me. I studied engineering at MIT. And you're using it for criminal endeavors, Sammy. Well, that's your bad influence. You're right. What's with the getup? Yeah, I found him. Figured if this life of crime doesn't work out, I'll try for a job here. Hiring Mr. Williams? I hated the Jeffersons, man. The dad was a fascist. And what about those neighbors? An incredibly sexy black chick marries a big, fat white guy. What was that? Elevator's moving. Check it out. OK, as Pogo said, we are now entering the home stretch. Mm -hmm.
Where are you? Eagle, we're through the first tunnel. Over. Copy, Ranger. Eagle, the circuitry in here is causing communication problems. Stand by to lose us. Over. Take pipe just went down to zero pressure. Which one? Oh, just the one I said they'd come in. That's fab, Sammy. Because that distraction will provide us with all the time we need. Are you getting tense yet? now exactly well they're gonna be coming out at the access point in the tank room the tank room that's what i thought all they really have to do is go forward because once they go forward then everything's gonna come back to us but it moves i catch a bullet well, well this uh, should be an interesting next few minutes Well, well, he could, but it's not quite that simple because if you shoot me, well, then he's just going to shoot you. And, well, you're a cop, right? You're probably a pretty good shot. And if he were to shoot you first, well, then you'd probably still shoot me because your little thingy's on that little triggy and you're trained at that kind of stuff. So I don't think either one of us wins in this situation. I think we should call this high stakes poker at its most nerve wracking. I bet my life. You ready to put yours on the table? Wally, put the gun down. Just put it down. Hurry up, put it down on the table. Atta boy, you can do it. Back away. Good boy. If that's the way you bluff, you're gonna have to join me in my Thursday night games. You all right? I'm fine, but I think they roughed him up a little, so. You move, you die. Wally, shoot him if he moves. So, how far along are they? Got him on visual. Where are they exactly? Just close the tunnel behind him. Good. Well, my royal flush beats your pair of deuces, doesn't it? And this right here is my trump card. See, this is a detonator bomb bomb. And if I squeeze it together, well, the whole world will come to an end. And, well, with a really big bang, not with just a little whimper, so... Welcome wagon anytime. Do it. It's a trap. Water pouring in.
Let's go. It's ringing through. Rogers, you are playing a very dangerous game. Because I don't recall sending out any invitations to my party. What happened to our men? Bit of bad luck, I'm afraid. Look, if they need help, please get it to them. Oh, I think it's a little late for help. I think prayers would be more useful now. And candles and a requiem mass, you know, that sort of thing. You bastard. Come on, Rogie. You cops love to bury your own. I mean, you love all that, all that pomp and pageantry and all the flags over the caskets and the bugles and the hankies and... Look, I'm, uh... I'm gonna play straight with you from now on. Good. Good. That's very good. I think an honest cop is better than a dishonest cop. Here's the deal. In exactly two hours to the minute, we're going to release a statement. And with that statement comes a list of demands. OK, fine. We'll wait. But you're going to have to send us a sign of good faith as well. Release some of the hostages. At least release the little girl and her grandparents. He wants me to release that little girl and her grandfather. No? Mm. Oh, I don't think so. I mean, that sweet little family, I mean, the bargaining chip. Can you imagine? I mean, the implications of keeping them, it's just, it's mind-boggling is what it is. Look, pal, if you don't release somebody, the pressure's gonna be on to get them out. Okay, you've got a good point. You give me a little and I'll give you a little, all right? So I'll give you some hostages. Releasing them will make quite a backdrop for our little manifesto. I'm gonna release them through the door at the north entrance to get your men back. I thought we had a plan. No witnesses. Well, it's sort of changed now, hasn't it? Sammy. Did you see that? How's he look? I can't tell from here. I can't see him. Go check him and make sure this cop boy is finally dead. And if he's not, make him that way. Did you see him jump, Wally? <laughs> you either jump to your death or you're shot to your death. His call. Copy him on it. Yeah. When that needle goes over 25 or under 5, tell me. Over 25 or under 5. Got it. No right. problem. Over 25, under 5. 
Over 25, under 5. Over 25, under 5. Ugh. Over 25, under 5. It's like explaining Hamlet to a zoo monkey. Over 25, under 5. Over 25, under 5. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to play a little game, okay? There's been a lot of excitement out there, and it's time to play a game. Here's the deal. I'm going to ask somebody a question. If they get it right, then there's a really big reward. You. What is the capital of Wisconsin? Madison, of course. Congratulations. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'm going to let everybody go who is wearing Brown shoes or black shoes? Your choice. Black shoes. Black shoes it is. Wally, start down there, please. People with black shoes, let them go. Hey, that's not fair. They should be let go, too. OK. That's a good point, Sarah. Now I'm going to ask you a question, a three-parter, OK? Got to get them all right. And if you do, the brown shoes team gets to go with the black shoes team. Ready? Here we go. What is the area in square miles of the state of Wisconsin? What is the nickname for Wisconsin? And what body of water does the Wisconsin River flow into? The nickname? Time's up. Too bad. Time's up. No, the correct answers were 56,154 square miles, the Badger State, and, of course, the Mississippi. You know, what are they teaching these kids at school, Wally? Garbage. Well, unhook her. She's free. I don't want to go without you. It's OK. Bye. Run, little one. Run! Steady, boys. <laughs> So this will work, huh? As far-fetched as this might seem to you, it takes considerable concentration to do this, a concentration that your voice is starting to rattle. Just ask it. I mean, how are you supposed to learn without asking? I'll show you. <laughs> Silence is the beginning of wisdom. Take that with you. I think it's really time to go, don't you? Yeah. Tough guy with a gun. Uh, come again? Big, brave man with a gun. Pray you never meet me in a dark alley, mister. Ooh, someone's got to be in their bonnet, Wally. Pal, you have the worst judgment of any human I've ever met. Let's not be hasty, Wally. I think we have time for one more question. Okay, Mr. Longhair, Earring Boyd, engineer, fellow. I'm gonna ask you a question. If you get it right, you got your freedom. We're losing time. Engineering, huh? Okay. Well, keep it in your field. An object has a mass of approximately 10 grams, and it travels approximately 1,200 feet per second. How long would it take that object to travel, say, seven feet? Ah! What was that, about one two-hundredth of a second? Thereabouts. We gotta move. Sparky, how's it going? Matessi, I'm closing in on him. We'll finish him off! Enough. Your game. I'll see that much for you. Also, kind of cute. 
Too bad I have to. <gasps> Do I detect a note of jealousy? Hey! Hey! Sparky, where are you? Come in now. Sparky! Warning. One hour. No contamination. Mr. Turner. Sammy, good to see you. Yeah, fabulous. Watch your back. Where's Bogo? He went with the first load. You're on the home stretch. Oh, yeah. I'll bring you some more. Where'd you learn to fight like that? Five older brothers at the dinner table waiting to get into the bathroom in the morning. Breathing, sleeping, that kind of thing. Boys, how's it coming? Picture perfect. Home stretch, and I can see the finish line. And the product? Safe with us, but according to their computers, it does not exist. A wash in a chemical bath. OK, OK, this is the final stage. Now we all head for you know where. Let's go. Let's do it. Did you understand any of that? What does it mean by chemical bath? There's a security outfit where they uh, destroy sensitive documents, government stuff, but they also burn bonds from all the states. It's about a mile or so away from here. You can see it from outside. That must be what it is. Gotta get to the outside. I think they plan on leaving. Stop! Oh, first there was one, now there's two. A boy and a girl. You lost, sweetie? Come on. Come on. The end of the top, isn't it beautiful? Sure is, man. <laughs> Where's that go, man? Well, that goes to the runoff wells. Remember? Runoff wells, they take the water out. Yeah. How deep is it? About the length of a football field, which is 300 feet. Shit. Looks so dark, it just, just goes on forever, man. Where does it lead to? That was spooky. <laughs> I would really like to offer you two my sincere apologies, OK? Whereas the other hostages, they have a fighting chance, albeit it's pretty slim. You two don't stand a chance at all. You're going to be dead before you know it. Any final last words? Well, actually, I do have a speech for just such an occasion. When it's at home, I'd be happy to go and get it for you if you want it. Very funny. I have right here some chlorine. Your lady friend can tell you exactly what this does to the human respiratory system. I gotta go. I've gotta run. I have an appointment. I've gotta catch a bus.
Good work. It's hot work. It's like a fucking oven down there. Where's Sammy? He's on a break. I thought you might need some help. Would you like a drink? It's juice. Yeah, I love one. Thanks. You hold. And I'll pour. Here we go. Save some for me. <laughs> Chug leg. Smarty pants. Smarty pants. Hey, smarty pants. Smarty pants. Look, this is a sad moment for the two of us, okay? But it's time I take my leave. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I mean, you've been such a great host. And well, if you're ever in town, please feel free to call. Shut up, you sick son of a bitch! You demented, twisted bastard, rugged hell of guy! You son of a bitch! You. Am I not a man? If you prick me, do I not bleed? If you tickle me, do I not laugh? And if you poison me, do I not die? And if I shoot you, does it not make a hole? Merchant of Venice. Just like me, what a great piece of work. Up. I gotta stop. How? In the tunnels. He's gotta be in the tunnels. Are those sensors? sensors, though, right? If anyone tries to follow you down the tunnel, the whole joint goes. The Houdini cop coming to a theater near you. You're just not going to go gentle into that good night, are you? And you're not going to go down that tunnel, either. Uh, maybe the light's a little dim in here for you, but th th this is a gun, and it, it, it's got bullets in it. And, well, I am finding you a lot more interesting lately, but give me one good reason why I shouldn't put a bullet in you right now. We've rigged the tunnels to flood. If there is one, one mouthful of water that comes down these tunnels, everybody dies. Everybody. Why don't you just leave the detonator and go on your way? I'll flood the tunnels after you're gone. I just want to play a little more poker, huh? OK. This is my hand. You can have the detonator. And you'll save all your little hostages. Then you're going to run right back up to that control room, and you're going to tell them to put a stop order on that flooding. Because I am taking Missy with me. And when we're halfway down the tunnel, I'll give her back to you, OK? How about if she stays and I go? No, not a chance. Warning. 
I'll go. David. You gonna play or you gonna fall? The detonator. Had a boy. We both win. Come on. Come on. Come on! Catch it, catch it! Stop the rest of these people. Warning. One minute. Lieutenant Olton, we found the plant manager. They shot him. There's no sign of chase. I'll check the lower levels. Captain Rogers, we've released the hostages. Still haven't located Detective Chase. Sorry, Peter, got no choice. We've got to get the water back on. Let's do it. He said, while they're looking for me, I'll be watching them. The only place that you can see this plant from the shore is at the toxin pools. Where are they?
If there are any puppies left in my dog pound, I would suggest you scurry your little tails to the final position because the barrels are here and I will not be in two minutes. American bearer bonds. A couple of hundred million dollars worth in a negotiable. Thank God somebody else has come to my party. Where's everybody else? Oh. It was antsy. Look, I don't know who you are, but why don't you just take your bonds and be on your way? <laughs> I don't trust you. And it's time to die. Wrong place, wrong time. But that's the way God planned it. That's the way he wants it to be, us here together. And the transition of life into death, it's quick. So enjoy yourself. Bulletproof vests. Never leave home without them. May the Lord make me truly thankful for what I'm about to do.
So do you think you remember this every day for the rest of your life? Liz, are you crazy? This sort of thing has been happening at least twice a week since the strike. <laughs> what would I remember forever? Maybe a Brianna.